Hey everyone, it's John here from Hot Takaki, back with another video, and this video is going to be my 2021 Montreal Canadiens lineup prediction, so I'll go over the roster, just overall forwards, defense, goaltending, power play, penalty kill, uh, maybe the taxi squad, because that might be a thing this year, so I'm going to go through it. If you are new to the channel, welcome. Please smash that like button if you like this kind of content, and I hope to see you more on this channel, so uh, let's get right into it. Starting with the forward group, so we're going to rip right through this. Duran, Suzuki, Anderson. So I know their top line's been Tatar, Dino, Gallagher, and I think that line's still going to be together. But I think for Montreal, I think Anderson in the pitcher now, along with Duran and Suzuki. Duran's found a lot of success, and that was shown in the playoffs with Suzuki. And I think Suzuki is going to show to be that number one guy for Montreal, the top point producer for Montreal this year. So that's what I'm considering to be the top line. And I think the third line, and Kakinemi is going to need some help because he has struggled. He's been inconsistent. Toffoli is going to be a lot of help for a guy like Kakinemi who could solidify himself as a top nine guy and hopefully take over that second line center spot when Deneau moves on possibly. And then Lekin in with Kakinemi, get the Finns together, and then Paul Byron, Evans, and Armia. I think that's a very solid fourth line. Armia, man, like based on his production and based on how he's playing, I don't think he should be in a fourth line role. Maybe he goes on his off wing. Uh, but for now, I think that's a really solid fourth line. And I like Jake Evans in that lineup. Defense and goaltending. So Sherrod and Weber. I know some people have different opinions about Sherrod and Weber, how the, the slow aspect and Sherrod. I just, I think you saw in the playoffs. I think that pairing, just the way they shut down the flyers, the pens, like I think you have to keep those guys together, especially in a Canadian division where it's going to be really physical. And those two guys can handle, in my opinion, the top lines on other teams. So I think in a Canadian division, you're going to see those two guys a lot together, whether it is 5-on-5 five five or penalty kill, but I think those guys are going to be together a lot. And then Kulak, Petrie, I know there's different opinions about Edmondson maybe being there, but I just think Petrie's looked comfortable with Kulak, and I like the chemistry of that pairing. And that's where I think Edmondson, his physicality, with Romanoff, who has some developing physicality and obviously getting into the pitcher. I like the potential for that a lot, and I think Romanoff could play on his offside. So I like this defense core a lot for Montreal, and I think Carey Price is going to strive with Jake Allen in the pitcher now. And it's 56 games most likely, but even less for Carey Price with Jake Allen there. And I think you'll probably see Jake Allen play at least 15 games. And if Carey Price is only playing 41 games, that's pretty good. And he'll be ready for the playoffs if that is the case for the Montreal Canadiens. And then just extras and taxi squad. Paling, Wheel, and Mete. I think that could be your extras. I could see Paling getting a shot to be in the lineup. I think Jordan Wheel will definitely be one of the extras if he stays on the team. Houdon's a huge question mark. Uh, just in terms of, as I make this video, he hasn't signed yet. And I don't know what's next for him. Uh, Victor Mete is probably the biggest question mark. And you see kind of questions with Mete, Paling, Houdon. Juleson and Fleury. I'll talk a little bit about Juleson and Fleury, but for Mete, he's one of the bigger question marks, and I think he'll be on Seattle, uh, their radar for the expansion, but I think Mete will get an opportunity still. I think he will potentially maybe find time be beside Weber. Like, as I have him as a scratch right now, I think Mete will play games. Like, I think Mete will be involved, and maybe Montreal, kind of like how I've, I've talked about with other teams, I think they could dress seven defensemen on some nights, maybe. I'm not saying that's a thing for Montreal, but I'm just thinking... You're going to want to give Romanoff an opportunity. Edmondson's now in the pitcher. Mete's kind of getting squeezed out a little bit, but I think he will get an opportunity, but also maybe gets traded. And Olette will definitely be like either taxi squad or extra. Lindgren will probably be that third goaltender for them. Belzeal could, could get an opportunity. I don't know. Uh, but question marks, Juleson and Fleury. I, I just wanted to talk about those guys quick because Kale Fleury's gotten a look. Juleson's got a look. I think they're the next man up, but I think they might find their time in the minors just more for their development, and Montreal's kind of crowded on the defense right now. So let me know what you think. I think for a power play for Montreal, just to go back to their forwards, I think Duran will probably get top power play time, and that could be with Suzuki. That could be with Anderson in front. And then maybe Tatar and maybe Gallagher or maybe Tatar and Toffoli to close out that top power play unit. And then you'll probably get Petrie there. My thing is, and we've seen it in the past with, with Montreal, like their top power play unit, maybe it's Petrie and Weber. And that's where you can maybe spread it out. So Suzuki, Duran, and maybe Anderson in front. And then you have Weber with the shot and Petrie. And then maybe the second power play unit is Romanoff. And then you can get Gallagher in there to know and maybe Tatar and Toffoli. Like, I would love that second unit. Deneau, Gallagher, Tatar, Toffoli, 
and Romanoff. That'd be a lot of fun. So they have options. And for their penalty kill, you'll probably see Gallagher in there. You'll definitely see Deneau in there. Uh, maybe even Anderson. You brought him in to be physical. I could see him being there. So um, Paul Byron will definitely be on the penalty kill at times. So you have your options, right? And then, as I've said, the matchups with Sherratt and Weber will be huge for this team. And if Carey Price can be rested, he'll be huge going to the playoffs. If this team is ready to go back-to-back in the playoffs after going last year. And, uh, yeah, I think, as I've said, I think this team is built. I think this team is built to do well. So, Montreal Canadiens, Canadiens fans, let me know in the comments if you think your team is ready, uh, what you think about my lineup predictions. If you have some different opinions, get your predictions in the comments. Uh, Definitely subscribe if you like this content, if you're a Montreal fan or any kind of fan of hockey. I do hockey on this channel, of course, and uh, I'm so excited for the World Juniors, the new season. So subscribe, like, and comment. This was John from Hockey. I'll see you in the next videos. Peace out.